My name is Connor Donahue. I was an intern at the Pawlowski Lab this summer, and I studied how genome duplication affects gene expression and DNA methylation in maize. So maize is typically a diploid plant, meaning it has two copies of every chromosome. However, it can be induced into a tetraploid state where it has four copies of each chromosome. And the interesting thing about tetraploids is that they often show different phenotypes, such as greater biomass or larger cell size. Um, and so understanding how genome duplication affects uh, maize could be interesting for uh, application in breeding programs that take advantage of uh, polyploid features. So in order to study this, I looked at RNA sequencing data to analyze gene expression in maize. And then I also looked at whole genome bisulfite sequencing data to study DNA methylation trends. Um, ultimately, I found that in B73, following genome duplication, there is an increase in methylation. So I looked at two inbred lines of maize, B73 and OH43. And in B73, the methylation increased overall, as you can see in this figure here. However, in OH43, it decreased following genome duplication. So the tetraploids had lower, lower methylation rates than the diploids. And when I looked at the individual cytosine sites where methylation occurs, because methylation occurs at cytosines along the DNA sequence, I found that the ratio of um, hypermethylated cytosines, so cytosines where there's increased methylation, to hypomethylated cytosines where there's decreased methylation, was greater than one in intergenic regions of B73 and around one or less than one in genic regions of B73. And I found the opposite pattern in OH43, where it was much less than one. And these both correspond with the changes in uh, methylation we see here, where there's a ratio of of less than one in OH43 because it's because the methylation is decreasing. Um, and so what I can conclude from this is that um, overall, the greatest change in methylation we're seeing following genome duplication is occurring in intergenic regions rather than genic regions. However, there is some variation in genic regions, which could explain the differential expression we looked at. So maize is a, um, so, so tetraploids have twice the amount of DNA in their nucleus. So they also have larger transcription rates overall than diploids. So we normalized our gene expression data to cancel out this effect. And when we found differentially expressed genes, we found some significant differential expression in both OH43 and B73. And then we did a gene set enrichment analysis to look at the functions of these sets of differentially expressed genes. And between B73 and OH43, neither of them had similar functions. So this would lead to the conclusion that um, the effects of tetraploid, like the phenotypic differences observed in tetraploids are likely due to gene dosage effects rather than differential gene expression. And gene dosage effects are uh, the same uh, effects that we normalize to cancel out where transcription rate increases overall in tetraploids due to their greater genetic material. So those are the conclusions of my study this summer. Um, thank you for listening. Thank you very much. Very nice work.